hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are good today i will show you how you can connect your esp32 uh, with aws it core using sim l7670g gsm module okay so okay so we uh, need uh, hardware actually uh, we need the sim l7670g module this is comes uh, very cheap price okay and uh, we need a uh, ESP32 uh, for programming to upload our program. We need a AWS uh, account for uh, connecting our devices to the AWS IoT core. You can see, so you need a AWS account. Okay, so let's uh, make the circuit. Okay, this is the circuit diagram of SIM uh, A7670G with ESP32, and we connect here a dst11 sensor for just uh, testing purpose so we can send the temperature and humidity data on the aws it core cloud and uh, the circuit diagram with a 7670g and sp32 uh, i put uh, the circuit diagram in the screen and those are new uh, in this video i will suggest you please um, sh see my first video the setup video i put the uh, setup video link in the description so please watch first so you can understand how you connect uh, the aws uh, 7670g with sp32 from this crash okay so this is uh, the circuit diagram today and uh, we are going to the code okay so uh, first we need to uh, create an account in aws um, cloud and then we will configure our devices so first you have to log in uh, with your uh, username and password so i already logged in so i will search here the iot core service so this is iot core and uh, we will create the devices here if we click all devices all things uh, nothing show here so first we need to create a policy okay uh, we need to create a policy so we'll need it later so let's create so it is in security then policies and we will click on create policies the policy name so we will give a name esp32 policy yeah. okay this is the policy and we will allow all all aws it correction and policy resource also Start. that means we uh, allow all okay so then create so our policy is created huh? okay and now I click on all devices and things we need to create a things okay so let's create a things uh, create a single thing click on next we need a things name uh, we need to give a name here. So let's give a name S7670G test devices. Okay, we will give a name and device shadow. We will select no shadow. Then next, okay, we will need to create uh, some certificate here. So we will select auto generate a new certificate and next. And uh, I just uh, create the ESP32 policy earlier and we need to select that one. Okay, and then create things. And uh, you can see here uh, multiple uh, devices certificate here and we will need the device certificate. So we'll download it, the public key, uh, we need the private key actually. And we need a, a root CA certificate okay we will need that this three certificate we will need and uh, we don't need it but we need to download it okay next done so uh, this is uh, right now uh, uh, we have uh, just created a WSIT core devices uh, you can see this one and we will um, configure our ESP32 uh, code with this certificate uh, so uh, let's open our certificate so this for our certificate and we will 
and need to put that certificate on our ESP32 code okay so let's open the code here this is the code I will put the code link in the description and you can see there are uh, config there are certificate dot is there are private key dot is and root ca dot is and simply you need to copy the certificate here and uh, just copy and paste here we will uh, put one by one so first we need to copy the certificate and we will open it from and we will copy it and we will paste it in the certificate and second we will copy the private key here open private key copy and paste okay and last one is the ca okay this is the ca open copy and see so that's it uh, we just all copy all the certificate from here after putting all the certificate here we need to config um, the broker actually this one and all the things are remain same but we need to change this broker here okay so where we can get this broker or in point here so i will show you uh, you need to you need to go the aws it call config page and then you need to go to settings and you can see device in point has been moved view domain configuration okay if you click that you will see a domain configuration here okay if you uh, click uh, on the domain uh, name you can see there is a domain name and domain type is in point okay so this is we need the in point okay so the this link will be our broker address and you need to copy this address and you need to uh, put the broker link here okay so that's it a uh, very simple program our dst 11 uh, connected on dst 9 uh, on the digital pin 23 so esp32 and uh, this is the config uh, of uh, sim a7610 module and we need the apn need to change here yeah only based on your sim card what apn uh, they are used you need to know it from the internet and that's it okay or oh, oh, there is publish topic and subscribe topic we need to publish this data from this topic and subscribe this topic we will receive the data from here okay okay so uh, this uh, this is all and now i am connect the our device okay and now we are going to upload the code okay let's upload the code okay we just upload the code done and we will open the serial monitor and let's wait for boot the same module successfully and yes uh, its network is connected gpr is connected okay and connecting to aws it core and uh, yes published successfully this is the data we are publishing device id temperature and humidity and let's check uh, data is uh, receiving or not so open the config page aws config page and we will test from mqtt test client okay so this is the mqtt test client and we need to subscribe a topic so uh, our subscribe topic is config and subscribe topic this is a published topic so we need to subscribe on this topic and okay so we will subscribe this topic here and hope we are we will get in message from here okay right we are 
uh, start to getting the data from publishing from our devices to our AWS IT core console okay so 10 second interval I put it and hope uh, it will uh, come in the data with 10 second interval okay so this is uh, successfully publishing the data and now we are trying to send a message to the devices okay so we will publish a topic so uh, what uh, what uh, let's open the code and yes we are subscribing on this topic device and cmd command and we will publish the topic and let's say we are send the message like that the default message hello from aws it core and i will show you we will uh, print the message here uh, let's publish here and okay hello from aws it corner it's very fast very very fast okay console we will edit the message later console 22 and yes we are getting the message here so it's already publishing so that's it we are successfully connect our sim module with aws it core and i show you how you can connect it open the aws it core uh, and configure the uh, things on aws it core console and how we can test mqtt from the console okay so that's it today and hope uh, you guys find any helpful uh, if uh, it's good for you then please subscribe my channel and help me to grow up and uh, wait uh, wait for next video okay thank you